now is August the 19th. As the old flamingo, we're in a band called Queen of Come that uh, that Sita had put on. And so I remember immediately, like, Felicia and Jessica were working the door, and I saw the chick with, like, her dress thrown over to one side, and I was just, like, immediately, like, wow. That means uh, a love joint in French. 
it's a, um, the project is dedicated to my wife. All the track names are dates, and they're, you know, important days in our life together. And um, so each one, there's like, the, the music is supposed to tell the story and capture the emotion from that particular day. And so we're about halfway through it right now. Uh, we just finished August 9th, which August 9th, 2019, which was the day we officially became a couple. The next song, like I said, we didn't plan to move fast, but when you know, you know. So the next one is March 8th of 2020. And that was the day where we were in Chicago on a, uh, we had taken a road trip. And I, she loves pineapples. Uh, Jamie has on one of her shirts for business. There's a pineapple on there, right? She loves pineapples. And so I found a pineapple hotel in Chicago, like pineapple thing hotel. And so we went there on vacation because I knew that was a place that I wanted to propose to her. And so that's what this next song, uh, March 8th, is. Um, and the song is saying, I don't want to be alone anymore. Like 
intimate, intimate between family. So let's hear y'all's family. Let's family. But crazy story is my mom sent a text message to our family group chat on May 4th of 2022. Like, hey, look, I'm just telling you, I had a dream last night. Somebody had a, had a, a brilliant, fabulous baby girl, and she was wonderful and awesome. I'm not going to say who. And so Jesse was like, you need to go back to sleep. Okay, I was ready for it. Two weeks later, we had the pregnancy test showing that we were expecting our first child. So that's what this song is. And so when I hear this song, the, the music, like you know, I say, you have to listen to it, but to me, it sounds like a seed sprout. I can't, I don't know any other way to explain it, but when you hear it, this is it. Okay, here's the tea that's sprouting. Hey! Yeah, so this, this last song is dedicated to our own one child, Will. I don't even know if it's going to be a boy or a girl yet, but we're both just really excited. And I just know that this child is going to do amazing, dope things and just shock the world when they get here. So when you hear the next song, that's exactly what song to get. So, I want to say real quick, hey everybody. Um, and I know Ezra's probably thinking this, but he's behind the bar working. But if you are on social media, um, make sure you follow him fifth. Make sure you follow him so late. You're checking in on Facebook. Um, this is a soft opening, but we want more and more people to know about it. Um, we have lots of events coming up. Um, including some of the art that you see on the wall. We have the artists in the room. We'll have some events and programming around it. Justin Hartman is in the building. Um, so as we close out, thank you Fix so much. In a way, this completely different project from you. Uh, yeah. It's been beautiful. Uh, congratulations to you, Justin. Thank you for letting me have that moment. But follow Soleil Fifth, Soleil Jackson, JSN on uh, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. All right, check in, y'all. Give reviews on your drink because you love them. All right, thank you. Yes, thank you, God, for uh, allowing us to do this. And yeah, my Instagram, every every social media is at Fifth Child Music, at the number five, TH Child Music. Um, so I hope you like what you're hearing. I know somebody asked me earlier, like, well, how do we find this stuff? If, wherever you listen to music, is on there. So if it's iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, it's on all that stuff. Or you can buy it on my Bandcamp page. Fifth Child Music, got Bandcamp. Yes, oh my gosh. So if, you, if you're still going to be around tomorrow night, you really, really don't want to miss this. It's uh, Tawana Shantae is going to be performing live here. If you've never been to a show before of Shantae's, it is incredible. Okay, She is absolutely amazing, so you definitely want to take the time. Tommy, is it 8 o'clock? I think so, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. tomorrow, right back here in the same spot. You don't want to miss that. And with no further ado, this is the last song, January 12th, dedicated to the uh, expected, you know, due date for my band. I'm going to play this one a little bit loud. I'm not going to do I just heard it. I can't hear you? <laughs> I just heard it. This is a close-up game. I'm going to come back. Huh? I'm going to come back and get your response. Okay. All right, man. So how do you feel about this song here? How do I feel about this song here? Makes me think of my baby. I know that's right. Call me. I know that's right. Call me. Call me. Call me. Call me. Call me. Call me. So the album was very inspirational and I'm honored to have been mentioned, to have been thought of, to be loved by Steven. And I really enjoyed um I really enjoyed August 19th because of the detail or the thought that went into it. And then September 15th was about uh the conversation piece was about uh, most definitely. Now the seeds sprout. I don't know what that sound like. That was cute or whatever, but 
January 12th was really a move. So the whole album really crescendo at the end, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, that's why I said give him a kiss. Okay. <laughs>